Bunches. So this video is all about, a bit different, but um, green things I do related with food and cooking that you might not have heard of and that might help you out. So I'm going to try and make it short and sweet, so let's get into it. So the first one, this may only apply to Australian residences or maybe even Victorian residences, which is the state that Melbourne's in, which is where I live. But um, what you can do is recycle your soft plastic. So everyone's recycle system is different, but at least in Melbourne, there are soft plastic collection centers at like supermarkets and like um, libraries and things like that. You just have to collect any plastic that is clean and that you can scrunch up. For example, like a chip packet or any packet of anything. Um, instead of just putting that in the bin, which you may find reduces your waste by a heck of a lot. You can just collect it and then when you got a big bag ready, Take it on over to, um, yeah, they're usually just near the checkouts at like Woolworths or um, near like the other recycle points at libraries. It's a really great thing to be more specific and, well, maximise your recycling potential. Yeah, but since we've been doing it, our like general rubbish has like shrunk to the size of nothing. So I would recommend doing it if it's available to you. The next one is another one you're gonna like roll your eyes at me for, but um, we have chooks. It wasn't really my choice. Um, but we have them shared with our neighbours and our neighbours and my parents eat the eggs and um, chooks are quite curious little lovely birds and they will at least try any food scraps so while we do have a compost we give like larger I don't know more top-notch looking veggie scraps to them like a cauliflower um, like leave and stem deal they like that um, corn cobs you get the idea um, but just thinking of furry friends, if they are ones that can eat random vegetable scraps, using them to help maximise stuff that would usually go into waste is not a good idea. And as I just said, my next one is composting. So this past year I recently did some nannying for a family which did not have a compost and the amount of rubbish that they went through, well because of the twofold thing, not recycling your soft plastics and having food scraps be in your general waste is just like a game changer. Your waste becomes so heavy, so full and plump, um, you're really missing out on opportunity. Ours is like a wormed field, bug filled shit show down there. Um, we have it like a way away from our house. Yes, it does attract all sorts of creepy craw crawlies, but it's a healthy looking thing that, yeah, we just have three different bins, general, recycle, and uh, compost, make trips down there, and yeah, it's a good idea to do. If you can do it, obviously, if you're on a balcony or you're renting or I don't know, it's a quite a privileged thing to do, but if it's available to you, please do it because, yeah. That food doesn't need to go to landfill where it's like in a plastic bag, can't breathe and break down. Number four, this one we all can do and it's taking recyclable fruit and veg bags instead of using plastic bags to put your fruit and veg in when you're at the supermarket. You can get them all over the place. You could make them, you literally just have to, I don't know, um, sew three sides of a, any sort of fabric, like make a little pillowcase thing with an open top and there you go. Yeah, people don't even look twice these days I found. Maybe like five years ago they did when you brought your own but it's fine we're all doing our bit and so you won't be alone if you decide to do that as well um number five is give food that you haven't used or that is expiring to charity if you are able to um i don't know like you might buy just a pot of jam that you're just never going to use yeah so if it's not expired just they're, they're everywhere like collection points especially around christmas and holiday times but like libraries again community centres they will collect it and you can just not have it sitting around your house going to waste. Number six requires a little bit of cooking skill but um, instead of going what on earth are we having for dinner, what do we feel like, let's go buy the ingredients, like open your fruit and veg drawer first and like see what you have and maybe try and do a uh, veg centred dinner like if you have eggplant maybe do like eggplant parmigiana, if you have cauliflower then if you have lots of cauliflower then we'll do like our um, pesto cauliflower wings, they're in my first book. Um, pumpkin and zucchini and mushrooms have lying around, then you got something good for a lasagna happening, you know, things like that. So like knowing what veg can turn into what meal is a handy piece of knowledge to keep up here so you can, yeah, use things up in your in your dinner, cooking, adventures, or lunch, any meal, whatever. 
Number seven is to not try and make a lot of a recipe that you're not sure about. Obviously this is easier said than done and it's you always get like 20-20 vision with hindsight but so you might think a recipe is gonna really work and it just totally takes you by surprise and doesn't at all or you might forget an ingredient and it tastes disgusting but um, big stews and things if you really don't need to make them for that many people maybe then just like half the quantity um, so if it doesn't taste super great not up your street that's fine you know you don't have to trudge through it um, mouthful after mouthful when you're not enjoying it and my last one number eight is to just cook widely i think the more you cook cook widely i just mean like the more you cook the more i think it's easier to use things up because you have more knowledge about more recipes that you use things up and you just learn about food more and what goes and yeah it's just it's just good to have some food knowledge so even though not all of us love cooking at least um noticing things and staying curious can help you not just have i don't know things that go off in your fridge and pantry not make that a regular thing okay i think i just slouched through all that video my battery camera is flashing definitely gone over time but thank you for watching honey bunches if you like what you see and you like other videos there and you don't follow me on instagram then feel free to do that it's just at honey bunch of onion tops i will see you in the next video thank you for watching lots of love and bye, -bye.